So we need dopamine to keep the effort going. Is that what I'm hearing you say? That's right. So the molecule dopamine is a reward. It's released in the brain when you win a game, you you know close a deal, you someone meet likes the your love photo. of your life, someone likes, someone your, likes photo. your photo, <laughs> the great love of your life, you complete something. But most of our dopamine release is not from achieving goals. It's actually released when we are en route to our goals, when we're in pursuit of our goals, and we think we're on the right path. This is why a lot of people get depressed after they achieve a big goal That's because right. they feel like, I'm supposed to feel something greater. I felt this thing for two minutes, and now that's it? That's right. High achievers know to attach dopamine to the effort process. To the pursuit, the day-to-day -day tasks, the, the growth, the lessons, the losses, like everything, right? It, well, and it can be to some wins along the way, yeah. but growth mindset, which is the academic discovery and laboratory discovery of my colleague Carol Dweck at Stanford, is the hallmark of growth mindset is, to, is really two things. One is, I'm not where I want to be now, but I, but I will, I'm capable of getting there eventually. The other is to attach a sense of reward to the effort process itself. In fact- Don't in, reward the result, reward the effort. That's right. And if you look at true high performers, people that are consistently good at what they do, they don't peak and go through the postpartum depression and crash and come back and their life is a cycle of ups and downs, but really people who are on that upward trajectory <clears throat> consistently, those people attach dopamine to the effort process. And actually Carol's, one of her original studies on the discovery of growth mindset was these kids that loved doing math problems that they knew they couldn't get right. So it's like the people love puzzles, but in this case, they knew they couldn't get it right, but they loved doing it. And it, incidentally or not so incidentally, these kids are fantastic at math when there is a right answer because they <clears throat> they feel some sense of reward from the effort process. Yeah. Now the cool thing about dopamine is that it's very subjectively controlled. We can all learn to secrete dopamine in our brain in response to things that are in a purely subjective way. Our interpretation. And our interpretation. And but it has to be attached to reality. So, you know, one should never confuse what is real. Right. So no so <laughs> if you're eff, if you're thinking about the effort you're expending. So let's say somebody right now is financially back on their heels and they're setting up a new business for instance and it's hard. If they can take a few moments or or minutes each day to reflect on the fact that the effort process is allowing them to climb out of their hole potentially, that it's giving them an opportunity, that it's somehow they are on the right path, or, or if they're not in movement along that path, or at least oriented on the right path, they're not lying in bed all day. They're taking a heels. step They're forward. taking a step. If they can reward that process internally, two things happen. First of all, the brain circuits that are associated with building subjective rewards and dopamine get stronger, so you get better at that process. And second, and most importantly, dopamine has an amazing ability to buffer adrenaline and buffer epinephrine. And what I mean by that is, there was a study that was published in the journal Cell, excellent journal, Cell Press Journal, a couple years ago, showing that with repeated bouts of effort, we use and we release more and more epinephrine. It's kind of adrenaline, but in the brain. With more effort, we're every time, this. every time you put in effort. So every time you make for this, let's keep it. If I were to keep it in the business context, every time you make to write that email, every time you let's see, it's a, a person who's a craftsman or a craftswoman. Every time you're working in the in the shop and doing that, every bit of effort, you're taking a little bit of money out of this epinephrine account. You're spending epinephrine. Now at some point, those levels of epinephrine get high enough that you, you feel like quitting. It feels exhausting. <laughs> and this was done in a beautiful study actually where um, they control the visual environments and they have the subjects ex exert effort and they can control the visual environment. So sometimes the effort of, of taking steps and moving forward, this is actually kind of pushing forward and kind of swimming motion, um, would give them the sensation that they were actually making progress. And other times it was an exercise in futility where they would just keep the, the visual world stationary and they would expend effort and they didn't think they were going anywhere. Epinephrine's climbing, 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 and eventually they quit. Now dopamine is able to push back on that epinephrine and give you anyone the, the feeling that you could continue and maybe even the feeling that you want to continue. And you've seen this actually, like football is a good example. Two teams play, say the Super Bowl, 
Both teams are max effort the entire time. Yeah. Max effort. The team that wins suddenly, in a moment, has the energy to jump all over the place, party for days. <laughs> they can talk. I mean, they 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 They're have exhausted energy. right before That's right. that. Well, that wasn't glycogen or stored energy of any kind, except it was neural energy. And what happened was effort is this adrenaline, 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 adrenaline. Eventually, people quit. They just quit. The dopamine is able to suppress that and so then you're expending effort but you're doing it from a place of feeling like you have energy for it so we need dopamine to keep the effort going is that what i'm hearing you say that's right dopamine is not just about reward it's one of the biggest misconceptions dopamine is about motivation mm. and drive it's like a jet that propels you along a path so if how, any, how do we get more dopamine you practice subjectively releasing dopamine in your mind like how okay so Th that's a great question. First of all, there are ways you can get more dopamine release through thoughts or through drugs or through supplements. I want to be really clear. There is a drug, there are two drugs actually, that will cause massive release of dopamine. They're called cocaine and methamphetamine. <laughs> the problem that's what is, gets us addicted because it feels so good. The problem is, exactly, the problem <laughs> is do cocaine and methamphetamine stimulate so much dopamine release that the drug becomes the only source. It becomes the goal of and joy. the path. It becomes the path and the destination. And you look at people's lives when they do a lot of cocaine and methamphetamine and that baseline on their life goes down. Because there's very no fast. reason to work hard at anything else because you feel good. That's right. And that's the greatest feeling you'll have. So why do anything else when you can have that feeling? That's right. So wow. in an animal context, an animal that um, let's say is hunting or it needs food for its young, it's gonna feel agitation, that's stress, that's cortisol, it's like hunger, my babies might not eat, I might not eat, maybe it's looking for a mate, it's gonna feel agitation and start looking and roaming and searching, mm. foraging, as it's called in the animal behavior world, it's foraging. At some point, it might catch a smell of something, uh, a potential mate, or berries, or a stream if it's thirsty. At that moment, dopamine is released, and now it has energy to continue along that path. Dopamine is one of the strongest triggers of neuroplasticity because it says those actions led to success previously. You're gonna repeat those. Go do those. Those actions led to failure previously and don't repeat those. So, so dopamine triggers us to stay on the right path. Th that's right.